How do you think IDV has started to permeate into the risk management processes of these companies in the past few years? Yeah, so two things I think have gone, have grown in parallel. One is this profession or this recognition of the value of trust and safety. And two, the, what I would say, the foundation of trust and safety is identity. Um, and so if you appreciate or care about trust and safety, particularly for your community, for the industry, the ecosystem, you have to understand that everything starts, I would argue, ends with identity. And back then, imagine I went in-house 2010, and this really got launched as a working group 2012. When we were talking about identity, we were asking each other, do you know any vendors or solution providers that do this? And back then, there were just a few. And as the years have gone on, there have been more and more solution providers that have come on the scene. In parallel, the technology has improved exponentially, as well as the value and the focus on trust and safety. Back then, it was a sparse crowd. I think there weren't that great of solutions. Now, I think that there are a ton of, of good solutions out there and some really interesting technology that is catching up to, and in some cases, I think surpassing the financial services industry, just kind of based on the, as you mentioned, like biometrics, kind of different signals that are being leveraged. 